Donald Trump has never officially and formally conceded the election to Joe Biden, and he will never officially formally concede to Joe Biden. But I think this is as close as we're going to get this statement put out by White House Deputy Chief of Staff Dan Scavino, where Trump told him this after the electoral certification. Quote, even though I totally disagree with the outcome of the election and the facts bear me out, no, they don't. Nevertheless, there will be an orderly transition on January 20th. I've always said we will continue our fight to ensure that only only legal votes were counted, while this represents the end of the greatest first term in presidential history delusional. It's only the beginning of our fight to make America great again. Wow. So reasonable. So reasonable. <sighs> now he's saying there's going to be an orderly transition on January 20th, meaning I'm not going to flip over the desk in the Oval Office and like push it against the door and force them to drag me out in handcuffs. I'm just going to go willingly. That's basically what the statement says. What a fucking clown Donald Trump is. What a clown. And he is incapable of telling the truth because I think he literally believes his own delusion now. He believes this election was stolen from him because cognitive dissonance is so severe that he just refuses to accept that the American people rejected him because he sucked his own cock off in this statement saying um, this represents the end of the greatest first term in presidential history. Hundreds of thousands of Americans have died under your watch because you did fuck all for them during a global pandemic, you goddamn imbecile. And we finally have the vaccine you've been boasting about for months. And what have you done? Fumbled with the rollout. How many people have been vaccinated? Compare us to other countries per capita. And you'll see the rollout has been a disaster. So it's just, this is someone who is so beyond the pale, so delusional that anyone who supports him should be ashamed of themselves. And they're not going to see it now because they're still within that cult. But as time goes on, I am confident that Trump supporters will look back and be embarrassed. Actually, I'm not confident as they say those words. They still like Reagan. But I mean, even Trump. He's worse than Reagan. So this stupidity here that's on display, like, it, it, here's what I'll say. If you don't look back and see what a buffoon Donald Trump was, then it just it just speaks to you, your character, your intelligence, your naivete. It speaks to you as a flawed human being. And we're all flawed. But to actually buy into the lies of this fucking, not just con man, but idiot. I mean, he's a bumbling buffoon. To believe him to be in this cult... It's just embarrassing. It's not just embarrassing for you and your family and your friends. It's embarrassing for all of us as Americans. Like, to believe someone this stupid. Like, there have been, you know, cultist personalities in politics in the past, but none of them have been as idiotic and bombastic and narcissistic and megalomaniacal as Donald Trump. I mean, you think that if there was ever going to be a demagogue that dupes millions of people in America, it would be someone who at least isn't as dumb as Donald Trump, but we have this mouth-breathing reality television show star who's a complete idiot, and this is the individual who tried to kill democracy, who got the closest we've ever gotten to undoing our democratic institutions and instituting authoritarianism. Like, he pushed our institutions all the way to the limit, to their breaking point, and somehow democracy prevailed so far, but I mean, like, he puts out this statement as if we should give him credit. Oh, well, I'm going to leave and I'm not going to force Capitol Police to escort me out in handcuffs. Wow. Grown up. You've grown up. Really proud of you. What a big man you are. Unbelievable. Like, I'm just astounded. I'm astounded by all of this. It will never, ever not be crazy to me to think that Donald Trump was president even after he's gone. It's still shocking that this imbecile made it to the White House. And it shows you what poor of a state we are in as a country to allow this to happen. If this idiot can exploit the economic anxiety and racism to the extent that he did and get away with it, then we've got a lot of work to do. We've got a lot of work to do as a country. So I'll leave that there because at this point, I think I'm just ranting and raving and it's not going to be helpful to anyone. But it's just I I'm <laughs> I'm continually shocked by Donald Trump whenever I, I feel like I'm getting desensitized to his shenanigans and antics. He somehow manages to, um, you know, subvert all of my expectations. And I I'm just left again with my mouth open. Uh wondering how this is real, how we're not in some weird simulation 
that uh, has gone wrong. It's just shocking. So there we have it, guys. Uh, Donald Trump has officially conceded the election, at least as close as will come to a formal concession. And uh, it's not even a real concession, but this is as good as it gets when you are an idiot like Donald Trump. Wow. Mike is a total loser. So don't hit the subscribe button, okay? And whatever you do, folks, do not hit the notification bell either. Mike treats me so unfairly.